If PP405 was the end of baldness as we know it, they could have just recruited men with frontal hair loss. Statistically, looking at what happened with other promising hair loss treatments of the past decade, it's far more likely than not that this drug will never even make it to market. This is just the reality of drug development. Most projects do fail. And if PP405 does succeed, we would be surprised if it's dramatically more effective than any of the other existing treatments. The problem is none of these new drug developments for male pathogens and baldness are really getting to the root cause of the problem. We know the scalp dermal layer gets compressed by scalp tension, which leads to fibrosis and a restriction of blood supply to the hair follicle bulb. Finasteride is so effective because it stops this process of fibrosis. But other treatments that don't focus on this critical pathway will never be an effective way to stop male pattern baldness at the root cause. PP405 wakes up these dormant stem cells, making them produce new hair.